Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video uh, and today I'm going to be doing a full day of eating, surprise surprise, uh, 1600 calories and if you are somebody like myself uh, who has a sweet tooth then you are going to love this video. I've got two recipes uh, that are absolutely perfect for satisfying your cravings. I have got uh, one absolute game changer of a meal prep recipe, this is next level uh, and I've got another recipe as well, I don't really have much to say about it <laughs> but it is good. Alright, so let's kick things off with the best overnight oats recipe you will ever make and I'm going to add 40 grams of porridge oats to a bowl. That is followed by 50 grams of vanilla fat-free yogurt. This is the one that I'm using. You get it in little. Calories and macros are really good. I'm gonna add 30 grams of double chocolate informed whey protein into the mix. 50 ml of almond milk. 5 ml of vanilla extract. I'm gonna mix all of that together. So this is the type of consistency that we are looking at. Then I'm gonna add my oats into a ramekin. This is completely optional, but I got these uh, on Amazon the other day and I wanna make use of them and it fits perfectly. Then I've melted one square, which is 10 grams of dark chocolate and I am adding it to the top. And to melt, you just literally put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna get 10 grams of this white chocolate hazelnut protein spray from bulk this is 10 out of 10 highly highly recommend I am going to add it to the top and then I am going to do my very best to spread it all around and try and make some form of design it doesn't really matter and the odds are I am going to completely mess it up but we will see all right so as you can see I have done a really really bad job of making this look good uh, but I have been successful in covering the whole top which is what I wanted because when I put this in the fridge now and let it set for a couple of hours it should form a hard shell. Oh and I think it would be very rude of me not to give a quick shout out to my sponsors Bulk because I used a couple of their products uh, in that recipe so this is the whey protein that I used double chocolate informed whey this is my go to it is very tasty uh, and these protein spreads these are next level. Whoa. They nearly fell. Uh, you do have to be careful in terms of calories because they are quite calorie dense. Uh, but using like 10 or 15 grams on porridge or on overnight oats, it changes the game. Honestly, they are next level. So uh, this one here is chocolate hazelnut. Uh, this is white chocolate hazelnut. These are both my favorite. There's another flavor as well. Uh, I think it's pistachio white chocolate or something like that. Uh, but these two are my go-tos. And yeah, if you're picking anything up from Bulk, I'd really appreciate it if you went through the link uh, in my description because you would be supporting me uh, in the process. And people always ask about my discount code. I do have one, but the offers on the site are always so much better than what my discount code offers uh, so yeah I do appreciate it and uh, when people do ask but if you just go through the link in the description of this video that's perfect all right so a few hours have passed the oats have set the top is nice and hard as you can see and as you can hear and now let's see if we can crack this baby open Anyone else get these marks on their shoulders from the standing calories machine? I literally always get them. Sometimes they are worse than others. They're kind of bad now. Uh, but the weird thing is I don't really know anybody else in my gym or anything like that uh, that gets them. It must be how I stand into the machine. Or it must be the weight that I'm lifting. Probably not though. Um, but yeah, they're kind of bad. I don't really mind them though, to be honest. But yeah, let's go to my next meal, and this is a favorite of mine for sure. So I'm gonna start by adding two of these 5% fat beef burgers to a pan. I got these in little. And you could definitely get creative with the seasoning, but I am gonna go for some Cajun, some sea salt, and some SP, baby. And as the burgers are cooking away, let's get to work on a bit of a salad. So I'm gonna add 100 grams of rocket lettuce to a plate or a bowl, whatever you want. 50 grams of baby plum tomatoes that I have chopped in half. 30 grams of sweet corn. Let's add the two juicy burgers into the mix. 20 grams of 30% less fat cheese. 20 ml of hot sauce. And last but not least, 20 grams of pop chips. Okay, so my inspiration for this meal is literally just because when you go to a restaurant for lunch and you order like a sandwich or a salad or whatever you get, 
There is no better feeling when it comes with a side of crisps. I don't know what it is. It's maybe because you weren't expecting them and then they are on your plate and you're like, yes. Um, but yeah, it's a good feeling. It puts me in a good mood. And these are the crisps that I have gone for or chips for my US followers. I'm not sure what you say in Canada. Is it crisps? Is it chips? What is it? Um, but yeah, you get these from Lidl and the good thing about them is that they are quite voluminous. So for 20 grams, you get quite a decent amount of crisps and 20 grams only comes to 88 calories. All right, so if you have been enjoying today's recipes, I do wanna let you know that there is currently a sale uh, on the J. Clark Fitness Nutrition Hub and in here you will find hundreds of my recipes for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, uh, for snacks as a dessert. And for each of these recipes, there is a full calorie and macro breakdown. Uh, there is a full list of ingredients, directions. There is a video demonstration for each as well. So yeah, if you are somebody who just, you know, struggles in general to come up with uh, tasty, low calorie, high protein and high volume recipes, uh, then this is absolutely ideal for you. And as well as that, uh, you also get access to my personal calorie and macro calculator. Uh, so you receive your own calorie and macro targets based on you and your specific body composition goal. So yeah, I'll leave the link to the Nutrition Hub uh, in the comment section below. And if you use the code NUTRITION15 at the checkout, uh, you will get 15% off. All right, so my next recipe is 100% up there uh, with my all time favorites. And it's so good because it's something that you would just never think about doing but once you do it you're just like why have I never thought about this before and if you are a fan of meal prep you will love this okay so I'm gonna start by adding 375 grams of mince to a frying pan and whilst the mince is cooking away you want to get to work on chopping up some veg which I've already done because I'm an absolute machine uh, so you want to chop up half a red pepper into little pieces half an onion into little pieces one courgette uh, into little pieces and half a carrot uh, into little matchsticks. And now that the mince is almost good to go, I am going to add my veg into the mix. I'm gonna throw 100 grams of sweet corn in there as well. And then I'm gonna add some seasoning and sauces. So I'm gonna start with some chili flakes. I'm gonna add in a little bit of cumin, some garlic, some oregano, some smoked paprika. I'm gonna add in 250 grams of passata, 50 grams of tomato puree, about 10 ml of Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna add in one beef stock cube that I've mixed with about 150 ml of water. I am going to mix it all together. And then I'm gonna let it simmer away for about 20 minutes on a medium to high heat. Uh, until the sauce reduces and begins to thicken. Okay, so 20 minutes have passed and this is how we are looking and I honestly think it is one of the most satisfying things in the world uh, to see the sauce just be absorbed by the food. Like right now, this is so full of flavor, it is ridiculous. And then what I'm gonna do is spray a Pyrex dish with some one calorie spray. I'm gonna place one kid's wholemeal wrap on the dish, only 121 calories per wrap. I am going to layer this baby up. Then I'm gonna place another wrap on top. I am going to add a top layer. I'm gonna sprinkle on 50 grams of 30% less fat cheese. All right, so this is how we are looking. I sprinkled some smoked paprika over the top, of course, just for a little bit of color. And now I'm just gonna put it in the oven uh, that I preheated to one 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. Okay, so what an absolute treat these stacked enchiladas are. And what I like about them the most is that they are actually so versatile. Uh, so as you know, I cut them into six and there are three portions here. Uh, so one portion is two pieces. So one portion, two portion, third portion. But if you are on higher calories, for example, if you are on a bulk, then you could just split the whole thing in two as opposed to three. Or if you wanted to cook more at once, something that you could simply do is just add an extra layer. So you could use another wrap uh, and then you could just cook more mince and more veg, etc. Okay, so my final recipe of the video is gonna be a snack and it is such a good way 
to end the day, especially when your goal is based around fat loss because it's low in calories, it's high in volume as well. So if you are having this in the evening, you're probably gonna be going to bed feeling nice and full as opposed to going to bed hungry, which is the worst feeling in the world. Uh, and it's actually, it actually has a decent amount of protein as well. So yeah, it's a really, really handy recipe. All right, so I'm gonna start by adding two packs of strawberry sugar-free jelly powder to a bowl. There is only 32 calories per pack. And between the two packs, there's actually almost 13 grams of protein. So it's a sneaky little protein source. Then I'm gonna add 150 grams of vanilla fat-free yogurt to the bowl. Then I'm gonna add 150 ml of boiling water to the bowl. About 50 ml of normal temperature water. And then using my hand blender, I am going to blend the mix together for about five minutes. And feel free to add a few cubes of ice as you go just to add a little bit more volume Okay, so this is how we are looking after about five minutes of blending and as you can see it has already formed a bit of a mousse style consistency But to truly let it set I am going to stick it in the fridge uh, just for a couple of hours all right, so the strawberry mousse has set. Let me show you the kind of consistency that we are working with. Then I'm gonna add 200 grams of mixed berries to the top and top it off with some zero calorie maple syrup from bulk. All right, so for 232 calories, this is an absolute calorie bargain. And when it comes to snacks, I always like to compare them to protein bars because a protein bar is such a standard snack to have. Uh, and I think the main difference here is the size because I could genuinely have like four protein bars, five protein bars and still not be full. Whereas with one of these, which has roughly the same number of calories as a protein bar, which actually has seven grams of protein more than a protein bar, I would be really full. So yeah, I'm obviously not saying that protein bars are bad at all, but what I am saying is that when you are on lower calories, going for more voluminous snacks. So going for something like this versus a protein bar can make a huge difference to your hunger. Okay, everyone, I am going to wrap the video up there. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to comment below and let me know. And let me know what your favorite recipe was. Was it the overnight oats? Uh, was it the barbecue? beef burger salad, was it the stacked enchiladas, uh, or was it the strawberry mousse? And as of this very moment, I have 39,723 subscribers, which is absolutely mental to me. Uh, but when this video goes live, I will probably have broken the 40K, I think anyway. Uh, so yeah, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate every single one of you. I cannot believe that I've got like 40K subscribers. That is, to me, that is absolutely mental because I've been doing this for I don't even know how long, five years, six years, and for the first few years, uh, I was gaining pretty much no traction whatsoever, uh, and then out of nowhere, it just started growing. So yeah, if you joined me at the beginning of my journey, if you joined in the middle, if you joined recently, if you watch my videos regularly, I genuinely, really, really appreciate it. And I cannot wait just to, you know, keep growing, keep reaching more people, keep providing you with some good content and some good recipes, wherever, wherever this channel goes. Uh, yeah, it's good to know that, you know, people are coming along with me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.